Hey everyone, Al here for another episode of Kicker Clutch. Today is a European Time Zone edition. I am joined by my friend Just Maki. Hey, hey. Up next is CSL Underwater Bubble Base by Dylan. sure I have. Oh, well, that's definitely not the way to take the B, hey? As a ZSL judge, it's my duty to play these. Have you, have you uh, gone through a bunch of them already? Mm-hmm. I played, I think, all of them at least once. Oh, God. I did not see that bubble tube coming. It's a bit hard to see at first where to go. Like when I first played it, uh, I definitely did miss that big circle checkpoint. I've seen a bunch of good maps from this uh, ZSL already. <clears throat> this this one had either very decent levels or very bad levels yeah I, I can imagine it I can imagine it going that way <laughs> I think it was uh, shady nooks I've been playing a bit shady nook yeah. Oh. That's a really bad wall. Right transition to the finish, but well, pretty short. But yeah, you wanna pop on the barrier barrier as soon as you can. Yeah. I keep getting startled when I come out of that loop towards the end. Like I don't I don't know what to expect there even though I've done it like twice oh. already. <laughs> yeah. is a bit blind there like you need to you need to be lined up and then like you just see like this green orb in front of you and you're like what is it what is that it's still taking oh. a little time to get used to uh the new primitive shape checkpoints yeah i think this is a pretty good use of them though it kind of goes with like the bubble theme I guess. I mean, I like it because uh, <clears throat> if you wanted to make checkpoints that are like fitting in with the decoration, you had to like weirdly scale them to hide their shape. Yeah, which did cause performance issues. <sighs> with um... performance issues and uh, the chance of skipping over checkpoint.
Yep, yeah, the, there's always a chance of them not registering. A little spoiler for you. I think this this is a map I will be voting yes on. So that's what I was going to ask, actually. With the uh, the theme being soap, I see that it does. You know, it has like some of the soap aesthetics, with the you know with the bubbles and stuff like that. But does not having any soap track pieces affects where yeah. it's going to stand in the voting. Uh, yeah, in the rules states you don't have to like drive on soap. The team around needs to be Based somewhat soap. soap. Gotcha. Yeah, I was curious about that. So you could have a to uh, full ice map and just have like all soapy whatever around it. That still would count, apparently. Yeah. Ugh. The lights are a bit hard to see through. The like um, that, that one, the one turn, uh, the first turn to the left. Yep. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting that too. It's all, it's definitely like a, a little, little bit blinding. blinding, yeah. The turn right before the, the right turn before the loop suffers from that a little bit as well. Yeah, I definitely have on my very first run on this map have drew straight instead of taking that turn. <laughs> Because there was a hole in the next, like, uh, bubble thing. This is definitely a level where at a certain point it's, uh, it's going to become a real push to find more optimizations. Yeah, even like 10 hundredths of an improvement can end up being a hundred. I mean, a tenth improvement at the end. Okay. Is there an AFK? No. <laughs> <laughs> In one of the recent videos posted, I did the AFK on like, uh, I think it was on Mao's uh, Not So Friendly Transitions, and everyone was like, Thank you for showing the AFK. I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> because you called it out. I would be killed otherwise. <laughs> yeah. That was so funny. <laughs> I think that's a W level. Yeah, absolutely. That's a, I would love to play that in CSL. There are, a, there are a couple lot worse ones submitted, so I gotta clutch this. That is 
that's gonna be a sweaty sweaty level with how like just in eight minutes of not nine minutes of playing that level like how close all the times were already like in the competition that's gonna that's gonna be a close one and it being like only what was it like yeah 34 seconds long was it okay. seven minutes i can see times being like only 0.2 difference in yeah the yep it's gonna be sweaty let's see the lights yeah i do want to point that out the lights are a bit uh overpowering distracting yeah yeah it might not like i mean i i get the aesthetic that they add to the track but like they they actually might not even be necessary that is fair sometimes it looks awful with uh different light settings yeah for me it, like it was i mean it was manageable after a couple runs through because you knew what to expect but for you know the first initial plays like it was definitely a little jarring yeah. And I play with like Bloom Off and stuff like that. Um, and it was still a, a little much. But we have a. We have 20 clutch votes and one kick vote. So, congrats, Dylan. It is a clutch. One kick. <laughs> that kick must be a volumetric light user. <laughs> yeah. God, not to use the map, but that means there's no more. All right, kick. they're still they're still <laughs> using it after I said that. Yeah. All right, so it's Max. And... Max the drag. Max is going normal now, but let's yeah. see. They didn't fucking leave. <laughs> 